two-time winner of our enduro bike test, the Giant Rain has a proven track record. So rather than hit the reset button and risk losing all of that valuable data, Giant has simply updated the Rain for 2018. Make no mistake though, this is a brand new bike. First up, the sizing has been revised. Depending on the model, there are still four size options, but the reach numbers have all grown by 15 millimeters, while the stem lengths have been reeled in to compensate for the longer front ends. Granted, it's not a major change, but it's enough to keep the rain in step with current trends in sizing. The rest of the bike's vital stats remain largely unchanged. The Giant hasn't just stretched the front end of the rain, it's also made the rear end boost, improving wheel strength and tire clearance. The most obvious difference though is that the top end Rain Advanced Zero is running a coil sprung RockShox Super Deluxe Shock. It's even got a remote on the handlebar to firm things up for grinding up climbs or sprinting to the finish line. The suspension linkage has also been tweaked to offer more mid-stroke support and the addition of a longer stroke trunnion mounted shock means the 160mm travel will be more consistent even on the longest stages. The same can't be said of the SRAM guide brakes however. With the extra elevation gained by a heli drop, the organic pads in the brakes would overheat and fade. Upgrading to metallic pads is an easy fix though and after one wet muddy ride in the UK you'll have to change them anyway. Giant has also made some subtle changes to the specification on the Rain Advance Zero. Schwalbe tires have been replaced by Maxxis, a move that's been implemented across the four strong range. On the Rain Advance Zero, the carbon rims have been swapped for alloy DT Swiss wheels. The idea being that you can dent an alloy rim and still finish a race run. We spent two days in Italy getting a feel for the new Rain Advance Zero and Giant has definitely raised the bar. It pedals better than the old version, it has way more support in corners, but it's lost none of its raw speed. All the more reason to ditch the resin brake pads. Mm -hmm.